how to speak and how to interact. That's it. She knows everything perfect, very good. So now the question arises in group discussion, the HR, what does he see? What are the parameters on the basis of which you are selected or you are rejected? Okay? Now, suppose I am the candidate and uh, I am here for the group discussion. Suppose from 10 o'clock I am doing the group discussion, you have seen my way of talking and all. And you are the HRs. Now you tell me, are you going to select me or reject me? Select me? No one is going to reject me? Sure about it? Okay. Now, why are you going to select me? Okay. Communication skills? Body language? Intonation? Pause? I have or I have the command over the subject, you can tell me, not me. I prepared my, I did my homework. Yes or no? So all these things the HR also sees in you. Apart from that, they are also going to see how good you are as a leader and how good you are as a team player. That is it. The basis, the parameters on the basis of which you have seen me and you said, yes, I'm going to select the command. Same thing applies to you, same parameters, the only thing which is leadership and as a team member. Now generally what happens in group discussions, the team ideal team size should be 8 to 9, not more than that. But things change. Sometimes the HRs and all when they come, they don't have enough time, they make a big group of 15 to 20. It's very common for them. For you, it is your first interview or the second interview or the first GD. For them, it's very common. Since morning, they keep on taking some dozens of interviews and GDs and all. So generally, they tend to hurry up. And at the same time, they observe you as well. When it, it is a group of eight or nine, it is easy for you because the competition is less. If it is a group of 19 or 20, they make it then you have more competitors. Now the first thing is that out of 15 or 19 or 8, whatever is the size, how to initiate, how to become a leader or how to initiate the discussion. Suppose at 10 o'clock the HR comes and tells you good morning ladies and gentlemen. Uh, today's topic is euthanasia. What is the topic I mentioned? What does it mean euthanasia? Very good. Mercy killing. Infosys, Tech, Mahindra, let me tell you they give you topics like brain brain and euthanasia. And one girl was able to tell what is euthanasia. Euthanasia is mercy killing. We will tell what exactly is it, okay? So let's get back. So how to become a leader or how to initiate the group discussion. The HR, he comes, he greets, he says, good morning ladies and gentlemen. Uh, how are you all? Then he says, well, the topic is euthanasia or pollution, whatever. And the time is... to 10 and this he says he gives the identity number or something and then he leaves or he may be there that is that doesn't make a difference it is you should know that when you are in the group discussion you must try to impress the HR right he is watching you you are being watched that is one thing you must register whatever you speak whatever you do whatever is your gesture everything is being watched so what is the time given? 10 to? Now what is our first target? Initiate. You be the first speaker. If you don't know the topic, then also you have to be the first speaker. I will tell you how. So what is the time over here? So just one minute before 10, you have to plunge into the group discussion. You have to start your group discussion. So whenever a topic is given, sometimes it depends on the group, there is silence. Sometimes people, they murmur. If the group is 
dominated by smart students, a lot of halla gulla hangama happens. So one minute before you say, ladies and gentlemen, can I have your attention please? When you say this, ladies and gentlemen, can I have your attention please? Other students, they think, oh my god, this person is very smart. Already leadership marks he has taken. So the noises will go up most of the time. So that you are subdued, you are discouraged. Don't give it up, raise your voice, you say, ladies and gentlemen, the given time is almost up. Here it is very important for you to use the word almost. Can someone tell me why it is important to use the word almost? Okay, what is the time over here? But you are starting a few seconds early. If you start a few seconds early, if a smart candidate is there, they will say, excuse me, we have five seconds left. They can say to pull you down. So you have the sheet, you say, my dear friend, that is the reason I have used the word. You have to be ready with that. So two, three times you say, and still if they are out of control, you clap your hands and they come down. Then you say, and the first person who is initiating the group discussion, they have to speak two or three sentences. The rest, it is not required. So you say, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. The given time is almost up. And as we all know, the given topic is pollution. It's time for us to start the group discussion. And then if you are familiar with the topic, you start the discussion. Most of the trainers will tell you, be very good, give chance to others. I say no. I tell my students, first have your cake, then you give the leftover cake. Don't be Karan of Mahabharata who gave everything. Here you have got 10 jobs and 100 candidates are there. You initiate and if it is half an hour, at least 5 to 6 minutes you talk. And when you are talking examples, quotations, statistics are very important. Once you spoke whatever you felt, then you say pass the topic to someone else. Don't give or don't leave it between the topic. You don't let anyone speak. It is very important for you. Hundreds of trainers will tell you, no, give chance to everyone. Yes, give chance to everyone once you have had your chance. Don't leave it, okay? So then the discussion starts, you keep talking. Suppose you are talking, someone, a smart guy, they try to stop and interrupt you. What will you say? You will stop? What will you say? Excuse me, let me continue. What will you say? Yes. So using the terms like excuse me and all, it is very important. So when you are talking, if someone interferes, you say excuse me, let me complete, I'll get back to you. If someone else is talking, non-stop, nonsense, you want to stop, what do you say? Don't say sorry, excuse me. Excuse me, I would like to add something. Excuse me, I agree over here. Excuse me, I disagree. Using the word excuse me, you can ask people to stop or you can say, let me speak, then I'll get back to you. So the term excuse me, you can play with. So when the discussion goes on and you have to continue, you talk about your statuses, whatever information you have, then you give chance to other. So that is how you initiate. And what is the closing time? So here again, one minute before. So when the discussion is going on, again you say, ladies and gentlemen, the time is almost up. Again, we are using the word almost as a strategy. So that if someone tells you, one minute more, you have the word almost. So when you are initiating the talk, it is I, because you are expressing yourself. When you are concluding the group discussion, it has to be we. You have to talk like a team. So just one minute you say, ladies and gentlemen, the given time is almost up. It's time to summarize. And all of us felt that pollution is not good for the planet Earth. Your closing is summary of the entire group discussion. It is not your own. Suppose you have a topic like co-education is good or bad. Some people say good, some say it's not good. Then you say, well, the topic was very interesting. Some of us felt it is good, most of us felt it is not good, whatever it is. 
Is it clear to you? Clear? Okay. So, before 10 you started and little before 10, 30 you are closing it. In between also you have to be active. You cannot be dominant. So, when suppose someone is speaking, you can say, yes, that's a good point. I agree. And two or three points you contribute. If someone is not speaking, you say, let's see what our friend has got to say. Give chance to others. So, throughout you are active. Most of the students, they are very active and slowly other person takes up and this person gives up, right? It happens. But you have to be, you have to be a fighter in the discussion. The only thing you need to know is that don't show your emotions. Whether you are angry or irritated, you should be cool and calm. Have you seen the reality shows on the TV? How are the judges? Wow, amazing, superb, right? From the face, can you make out this candidate or this participant is going to win or not? We cannot. There is something called IQ and EQ. IQ is what? Very good. Intelligent question. EQ is? Emotional. So nowadays, most of the companies, they also look for EQ. That is a new trend. So in your group discussion, EQ is also one thing. So that is how your group discussion starts. Is it clear? Now we will go for jam session. Then if we have time, we will have a practice as well. Yeah? Uh, jam session, what exactly is it? Yes. So jam session, again, you have three types nowadays. Uh, the best thing nowadays, the HRs will tell you, okay, you talk on your favorite topic. Sometimes they give you a bow in where chips are there, you pick it up and immediately you speak without preparation. And sometimes you pick up a chip, they give you 10 or 15 minutes to prepare. It depends. The latest trend is they tell you prepare on the topic of your choice. And here, you have to be ready at least with five or six topics. You have to be a master in that. When they tell you you talk on the topic of your own, that is the toughest question because the choice is yours. How good you are in choosing, that shows whether you have the knowledge or not. And again, other two options. They give you 15 minutes of preparation time and another no preparation time. No preparation time is also good. If the time is given, even what happens, you get that action time. You start thinking, oh my god, the topic is so tough, what to speak. You keep thinking so much that you get nervous at all. If you, give a, if you are given a topic and immediately you are told to speak, you don't have the reaction time and you perform. But again, at least five topics you have to be master in that with the latest statistics and all. Suppose a topic is given and no preparation time. How do you talk? Yes? So there are a few things. If you take them, any topic you can speak. I'll give you some simple topic which all of us we know. Any topic? Okay, we take simple topic pollution, okay? I'm giving just an example. The strategy, what we are going to work on this, you can work or you can apply to any topic. Suppose the topic is given pollution and they tell you to talk immediately without prior preparation. How to crack the topic? First thing, you look at the topic and you tell me under what category it comes. Is it a religious topic? Is it a religious topic? Is it a sensitive topic? Political topic? Religious topic? Brainstorming topic? A universal topic? Yes. So the first thing you have to identify the category of the topic. What are the different categories I told you about? Religious, political, social, National, write it down. Brainstorming, gloomy, sad, controversial, I repeat, religious, gloomy, political, sensitive, universal, national. It can be economic also, it depends on the topic. So you have to identify the topic. 
Next you tell me, is it a serious topic or you can wait for 10, 15 years, then plan it out? Emergency, serious. So next is your seriousness. Seriousness or urgency on the topic. So in jam session, how much time do you have? One minute. And if you follow this strategy, you will have, you will need more than one minute to talk, right? Okay. So now let us see how many sentences we can construct over here. Here you can say, well, the topic, it is a, it comes, it is a universal topic. The entire nation, the entire planet Earth is worried about it. It is very important to solve this problem right now, it is the need of the hour. How many sentences are spoken over here? Four to five years ago. Right? If you want, you can, one or two more sentences you can add. After this comes, what is the word over here? Can you explain it? Can you explain the issue? Yes. Can you define it? Can you tell me what it is? Yes. So how many sentences, at least two or three sentences you can speak over here? Okay. Now what is the topic over here? Do you have different types of pollution? Yes. Do you have different categories? Can you divide pollution? Yes. So next comes your division or types or categories, whatever it is. What is the topic? Do you have any reason for that? Yes. Okay. How many types of pollution we have? Right from grade one we are studying, right? So, how many types and one or two sentences? So, how many sentences you can speak over here? Minimum ten. Minimum. Right? Then, do you have any reason for this? What are the reasons? Lots of them, right? And whenever there is a reason, do you have a solution? Yes. So this is how any topic when it is given, you have to attack the topic. Whether it is group discussion or jam session, anything, this is the strategy. Suppose instead of pollution, you have communication, communication skills. Here you can talk about history of communication skills. When I say history of communication skills, ancient time onwards, we had marathon runners, then we had the birds, we had the horse riders, then we had the postman, then all those things, right? That also you can talk. Since here it is one minute, in brief you can touch upon any given topic, you can speak. But if you get a topic like euthanasia or brain drain, then if you don't understand, you can ask the person. What is brain drain? Uh, brain drain, Infosys will always give you that topic, brain drain. Uh, brain drain means educated, skilled people living, leaving the country and working for other countries. Yeah? Nowadays, people are going to USA, Australia, New Zealand. That is brain drain. It can highly skilled people or low skilled people also. For example, plumbers in all in India, the salary is very less. But if they go to other countries, they get high salary, right? So, highly skilled people or little lesser skilled people leaving their own economy, leaving their own country, going abroad for livelihood is called brain drain. So, when you talk about brain drain, you can talk about the reason for brain drain. You can guess some reasons. Suppose brain drain is for the first time you are listening. I told you the meaning. Now, what could be the reasons for leaving the country? You can guess it out, right? There is something called pull factor, there is something called push factors. That is again another thing. So always you can have any topic given. And now I'll give you three minutes. You will pick up a topic of your own. I will call anyone, they will come over here and they will speak without seeing the book. Pick up a topic you are aware of, right? If you want, you can take brain drain is one topic, then euthanasia, that is mercy killing.
The topic should be your topic, no need to look left and right. Do your own work, concentrate. In jam session, when we tell you, you can talk on any topic, your experience, your issues, anything. But whatever you're speaking, it has to be really sensible and plan talk. That's it. One, two, 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 very few, very few, this, okay. One thing always have seen, decision making is wasting your time, right? When I say any topic, in grade one, did we study about pollution? Trees, any, any simple topic, right? Be smart enough. Here the question is topic of your choice. Why should you waste your time thinking so much? Let this work, quick. Thinking time has to be cut. Decisions have to be, what is your topic? Yes, my dear. Not decided what was your topic? Pollution. Pollution, okay. Just start now. Is attendance necessary in college? Simple, attendance. Most of the students have that problem, right? Pollution. Now I don't want pollution. Something else? Nature. Nature. So your decision has to be quick within seconds. How much time you will spend? Ready? Yeah. Education. Education system. Fine. Wow. You have to be quick, quick decision making. Okay, anyone who is ready with the topic and would like to talk over there? Because we need to have practical or group discussion. That is going to take a little more time. Uh, just now I said there should be no word for no. Try it out, come out of that comfort level. At the most point you have little mistakes. It's fine, at least introduce yourself. Come on. Good morning, one and all. I am Chandra Simhan. Father's name is M. Chakrabani. Mother's name is Kusupriya. And my, I have a sister who is she studying in Priya Siddhartha College. What is most important right now is for you to come stand and speak anything. That is how the conference comes. Right? Yeah. Anyone else who would like to? Yeah, quick. Next, you will be coming, my dear. Come. Good morning, everyone. Uh, I'm Nishika. And the topic I chose to speak is euthanasia. Because, because uh, just before a few minutes, we heard of it. And the reason to choose this topic is that whenever I hear this word euthanasia, I feel it very hard rhetoric. And the way I came to know of this word is, I think many of us remember it. We have a lesson regarding this in our first year. That is in English. Uh, that uh, I would like to uh, tell, tell that story now. That story is that a man, uh, a man's dog fell sick and he takes his dog for killing because he couldn't bear, the, uh, bear it, seeing it suffer. So, in the way, in the middle way, a car comes and hits the dog, fortunately or unfortunately. And the driver, sorry, the owner of the car gives him some money and he takes his silence and keeps it in his pocket. And, and we had a session about euthanasia, anyhow he wanted to kill and the rest goes on. So, I feel it very bad. Mercy killing, yes, we can't see the pain, but sometimes we can't also see the suffering. So, 
Sipop, so you are already have it in the syllabus, right? Yeah, that's amazing because so far, many colleges I have been, they never had a lesson on euthanasia. Nowadays we have euthanasia, which is mercy killing. And there's something called honor killing, which you read in the newspaper. If a boy and a girl, they elope, they are killed. That is your honor killing. And mercy killing is when someone is very ill, when the doctors say that this person is not going to revive or get cured, they put that person to death. Okay? In some countries it is legal, in many countries it is not legal. So Infosys gives you a topic saying, should euthanasia be legalized in India? Right here. Yeah. Good morning to everyone. My name is Sayasa. I am studying third grade in PSMR. New things to learn for searching. Okay, fine. 
And if you don't have, immediately go for a newspaper, any newspaper, if you are reading or starting the newspaper for the first time, go for local newspaper, which is easy, which is a little more masala, which will interest the students. Then you start going for economic times or something. Straight away, if you go for economic times, you will find it very tough. From low, you go up. But again, newspaper reading is very important. Yeah? Okay. Now there is something called picture perception, which Ted Mahindra has introduced since uh, last year. What is it called? Are you aware of that picture perception? Okay. So now what we do, I will write one sentence. You will come and add one more sentence to that. In such a way, it becomes a story at the end of some time, maybe after 10 or 15 students arrive. And when you are writing the sentence, make sure the idea is coordinated. Okay? So I will write the first sentence.
right, whatever you feel, no issues. Next. A little bigger, people should be able to read. She was scared. 
Of course, here the story did not come up, or it's beautiful stories that come up. Here you see how to link, how to create stories, and grammar whenever you are writing, especially your picture perception. And what happens in the picture perception? What does the person see? On what basis are you eliminated? In given time, you have to use XYZ characters and make a story. Suppose they give you a situation. Uh, if I become invisible for 24 hours, what are you going to write? Or what are you going to mention? I'll give you one minute. If you are invisible for one minute, or okay, let us take one day, 24 hours, what you are going to do? Mentally, be ready, the mic will come to anyone. It is your individual topic, I don't want discussion among yourselves. Your brain should work, not your neighbor's brain and his ideas. 10 seconds to go. Yes, my dear. Shall we have a 
small exercise to picture perception? Okay. Whether it is picture perception, okay. Whether it is picture perception or group discussion or jam, there is something called abstract topics. You know what is abstract topic? Yes or no? You know? Yes or no? No. Okay. Sometimes you get solid topics. Sometimes you get something called abstract. Again, Infosys gives you one topic. Most of the time, a dot in the circle. What is it? So you have to imagine, think, and see. In this, the best thing is that there is nothing right, nothing wrong. It is your idea. Okay. So I will give you something on the board. You will see that either you can speak or write it down. Okay. Lots of ideas they come. It, can, it is always right because it is your idea. So, is it visible from back? Yeah? No? Just I have scribbled it, that's it. I did not even see what exactly it is taking, but you can. Done? Now you look at the picture and you think. It is your brain, don't talk to your neighbor. You concentrate beautiful ideas they come. And some of them, so you can take a dot, when you get a topic like a dot in a circle, make a circle, put a dot, think, concentrate. Another favorite topic of Infosys is they give you orange color. You concentrate.